what is going on guys welcome back to chance daily hustle and you guys today um <clears throat> i'm in the shop right now and you guys we're just i'm just getting familiar with the shop and how we we want to set everything up and arrange everything it's it's so hard because we're in this in-between time of snow removal and clean ups yet and maybe a little landscaping i don't know it's supposed to start warming up this week but i don't think it's going to be warm enough where um we're gonna actually like do some fall cleanup there's still snow you guys there's snow still on the i mean it's hard to do fall cleanup with a bunch of snow um but we're gonna wait till monday i'm supposed to be in the 50 60 degrees uh next week and so um then we'll go back to doing cleanups and stuff like that but you guys for now i've got a container you guys a storage container bin coming i bought it um it's a used uh, shipping container it's a 20 by 8 and i'll be storing my salt bulk salt you guys i'm actually gonna go to bulk salt this bulk salt this year and so um i'll still have some bags um for for like little for little stuff like sidewalks a little bit of sidewalk and stuff like that but mostly bulk salt um for our parking lots and stuff and so um that's coming today the container and then um once we get the container set working on getting a a V box Swenson spreader, you guys. Here's what it looks like right there. See that? So that's what I'll be getting. The only problem with that spreader, you guys, I might need to use my dump truck um, to put that spreader on and to keep that spreader on for the winter. And so Oh man, one of these, because I'm going to keep my dump truck and the salt spreader in this warm, in this shop here. I want to keep it warm. So that what that means is one of these trucks will have to go out. And I'm not sure which one yet, but uh, I'm going to take one of the trucks possibly. I don't want to park it. I'd hate to park it down at, in that other shop of my old shop but if it needs needs to be i will back I'll, I'll still keep that tailgate spreader i think back on there just in case just in case you know i'll still keep that but uh so yeah you guys that's what's going on i'm gonna organize this a little bit sweep here sweep clean this up and then we got our uh we got this uh work bench makeshift type deal um we're gonna put this somewhere over there and put them pegboards up so we can store some more stuff and use this as a workbench and so it's trying to make this uh function better in here and so yeah guys let's uh get started <laughs>
containers here. Right there. So it's a 20 by 8. Should work for all the salt that the bulk salt that we are gonna store. So um I'm actually uh, buying this. You guys, it's 2500 bucks. Well, we actually um, instead of renting it, just buy it, make it ours. Twenty to twenty-five ton of salt in here. Should sure, no problem, guys. It's not. Doesn't look pretty, but that's not. Uh, that's not what we're using it for. So, um, I mean, there's no leaks or there's no holes in this uh, container, and so, which is nice. And you guys, if I ever, if I ever want to move it, 150 bucks not bad to move it and I've been wanting one you guys I'm excited look at that you guys wow it's nice I mean this is it's a storage sea, sea container salt or it's just a storage unit you know I'd love to, I'd like to paint it you guys to be honest I'd like to keep paint it maybe gray you know paint it gray just like uh our shop down there and so uh, I'm not sure how high this is it's gotta be it's gotta be let me see here I'm five about seven maybe seven feet you guys up that way so there you have it guys I'm excited get this to use for the salt and yeah excited 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 you guys man Oh, man, I am pumped. It's like solid steel door here. 
To get locks you guys for in here at least for one of them i guess you know so it gets locked maybe this one mm -hmm. you guys right there. i need a lock for that one so pump pump pumped this guys get my salt in there bulk salt we should be good guys because we pay <laughs> what if I would I know you guys been telling me to get bulk I would have saved thousands and thousands of dollars guys if I would have listened to you a long time ago and so um, now um, I'm just excited to get our spreader like everything you guys you have to uh you have to take baby steps oh you don't have to take baby steps but uh everybody in their business knows what what works and what doesn't and so and so you you know when you're ready to do things you definitely do know when you're ready to do things and um you get, you know, you guys, you know when you're ready to do things. Just like this shop, right? Um, winter was coming, and I want to shop. I want to run. I just got sick and tired of uh, dealing. I mean, I didn't mind doing it um, for a few years, but you get sick and tired of dealing with the cold and having equipment out and not having a shop to work in, you know. Um, that's this is already getting full but um it's just nice to come in and have a nice heated shop and get work through the years i've definitely definitely you guys really learned a lot as i mean literally a lot from you guys if you would watch my vlogs from four or five years ago of where we were and where we are now it's it's much different you guys my thought process and the way I bid things, the way I did things, the way I just ran my business was not efficient and was not, I mean, it's, I did what I knew how, right? And now as I grow, I, I'm still learning. I mean, you guys, it's just that, that container is just another step to what is to come and what where my business is gonna go and so um, I've been using this tailgate spreader I've been you guys for I don't know the last 10 12 years 10 years and for the last 12 years you guys I've been doing tailgate spreader and the salt X tailgate spreader that I've got right here was my very first tailgate spreader you guys before that I used to do everything um, with these right here with like the salt spreader the push one right even on parking lots I did that and uh, I don't know you guys it's always you always want to grow you always want to be efficient and you always want to have an open mind to new ideas and new suggestions and um, you know I'm learning that I'm learning that you guys as I go and how I do things and so um, you guys you can't stay stagnant in business you have to spend money you have to just recycle the money um, that's that's how this world works I know you spo you save a little and stuff like that but invest 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 and pretty soon you know look at all this asset that we have in here right and it's a lot there's a lot of thousands and thousands of dollars just in this this uh, shop itself and um, that's what I've been doing for the last 12 years is just reinvesting back into this so I can it's taken me 12 years to have this you know and I don't know 
it's, I'm, I just feel very blessed. I feel, I feel like that. I mean, that just bringing that shipping container. I feel like it's the next step to my snow removal business. And um, yeah, you guys, I don't know where it's gonna take me, but I'm enjoy, I'm just enjoying. I'm enjoying the process, and it's tough some days. It's very tough some days, you guys, especially winter months and stuff for a small business owner like me and you guys, some of you guys out there. And, um, you know, this is what we eat, breathe, and sleep. It's, this is our livelihood. And we get excited. We get stressed. We get worried. But one thing we, we never do is we give up we don't give up and um, you know you never you never know where life will take you unless you risk it and you try it and so I feel good I feel good about this location I feel like things are starting I'm starting I mean I've got a lot of a lot of people would be very happy for just a little bit of equipment right i was there i was very happy at when i was starting building my business i was happy for my first 21 inch push mower then i was happy with my first zero turn commercial mower then i was happy with my first plow then i was happy with my first snow account or whatever you know every every step that i took and the growth that i i, I did i had i was happy i was happy for it and just the feeling right now I'm, I'm happy I'm happy but I'm not content you guys that's 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 where I'm at when I had to when I used to have old uh, old equipment I'd break down and then I'd spend thousands of dollars and fix it and then repeat the process every time I didn't want to be there I didn't I don't want to do that anymore you know I'm getting too old I'm getting too old for this to do this I, I'm 30 I'm 38 years old I'm gonna invest now so I hope in five years, in five years, you guys, that's my goal, five to 10 years, so I'd be 48. So by the time I'm 50, I wanna be at a place where I, I, I would never imagine. You know, I want this business to be in a place where it, it's, it's, it's do numbers, big numbers. And so, I'm gonna take you guys along with this, along with me in this journey and just show you guys the process, show you guys what it takes. And so, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm just so happy that the salt container is here. That's, I've been wanting one. And so, um, we got our salt supplier ready, bulk salt, bulk salt supplier, I'm lined up. And now we just need to get the um, spreader the box the v box spreader here and so yeah all right guys if you guys are excited about this give me a thumbs up if you're if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't that's fine give me a thumbs down i don't care um but oh man i am excited i am excited so all right guys you guys have a good night and make sure you hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time